Hello friends. I'm thankful to the Sejure Collective Society for inviting me to this wonderful session, the international conference that is happening online. Um, and I'm grateful to Professor uh, Swarnavil Eshwaran and Professor Joita Shingupto for inviting me for a small talk on on the background score of uh, Satiji 3. Um, I have uh, given a title to this to this small uh, presentation as the background music in Ray's films, The Maker's Wand. Um, I have been working as an editor for almost 15 years now and I also am engaged as a faculty in a film school which is also named after the maestro Satyajitri. Satyajit Ray is known as a film director, is known as a filmmaker, but he was also a writer, a graphic artist, uh, a, a costume designer, an art director, and more significantly, a music composer and a music director. Apart from the the few films in the in the beginning of his career, all the films that he has done after that, he has composed his own music. And uh, the music pieces were so popular that people even today remember those pieces as they remember the films. This has to be remembered that the music is put by the director, it's used by the editor with a certain plan in mind. It's, it's not just that somebody feels that, okay, let's have music here and they have music. It's, it's not really like that. Uh, I will take examples of, uh, of uh, Ray's films in my, in my presentation. And the examples that I will give or, or, the, or the ideas that I'm going to discuss are not exhaustive in nature because I can't, I can't just give examples from all the films that Ray has made in his career. I'll take examples from three to four films maximum. And I will talk about the design, but this also does not mean that other people who uh, were making films before Ray or has made films after Ray are, are lesser filmmakers. They also had their own designs, also had their own treatment of music. This is just to tell you how narratives are emphasized or narratives are told by film directors or the film editors um, to, to emphasize on certain emotions and, and what are the different ways to do it. So, so let's keep it to that. So where exactly do we expect the music to come in? At places where we uh, want to trigger the, the primal brain or at places where we want to trigger the emotional brain and finally at places where we want to trigger the logical brain. Uh, in fact, all analysis, all, all uh, uh, discussions that happen uh, for a film are basically targeted towards the logical brain that we want to place a particular film in in the context of of the society and how a film is good or bad or is saying bad things saying good things etc etc and it continues the de debate is unending uh, but as a maker 
we do not really want to target uh, the logical brain first. We, we first target the emotional brain and also target the uh, primal brain, the primal part of the brain. And music here plays a very important role. Which means that if you, if you taste something which is sour in nature, if you have, uh, have tasted sweet, then it will appear more sour. So this is a very, very old uh, and proven technique in filmmaking. And uh, to, to present this idea in front of you, I'll uh, try to give you an example. I will give you an example from Opur Shamshar a film which was made in 1974 and let me just give you a brief of what is happening in this sequence because this is almost after one hour let me just give you a brief of what is happening in this sequence because this is almost after one hour four minutes and uh, people who haven't seen this film uh, may not know what is happening. So, Opu is a character, Opu is the protagonist in this particular film and he was forced to marry his friend's sister and gradually he was starting to love uh, Oporna or the newly wedded wife of Opu. So, after two, three months, uh, she went back to her place to her, to her mother's place and Opu was staying in Kolkata and there was a regular exchange of uh, letters between the two uh, lovers. We have uh, a sequence where we can see that the love is growing between these two characters and there's a regular exchange of letters and, and Opu is engrossed and he's uh, walking down the street and he's reading her letter and uh, he's not aware of uh, who's looking at him etc etc the thing that happens when people fall in love for the first time so the sequence continues and opu enters his house and notices her brother standing uh, near the roof and waiting for him so he has news for opu uh, upon a passed away and uh, while uh, while giving birth to her child and uh, the brother-in-law has brought this news for opu so let's let's see this particular sequence and then i'll talk about this amar sharir bhalo moner ashok sharbe tumi ele ashbe to na ele kintu ari 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 मुरारी
a romantic piece and the romantic piece stops and we have the tension music coming in so because there was this romantic piece the tension music was even more uh, I wouldn't say horrific touching even more uh, it, it, it affected the the emotion of the audience much more than it would have uh, without the romantic music in the in the beginning part of the sequence okay so let's get into the next idea which is i've given uh, a title called i make music too but as filmmakers we have trained ourselves in a certain way we use music wherever there is something important happening and that which needs to be highlighted either in the narrative or in the emotion of the characters something drastic happening uh, in the scene or or something happening with the character but there is uh, sometimes there are treatments which are very strange when analyzed uh, but uh, gives the same kind of effect emotionally uh, I like to give you an example from Opur Shangshar where Opu and Oporna uh, spend their first night and as I, as I already explained that the marriage was uh, really uh, surprising for both both Oporna and Opu. They, as in 10 hours earlier or even 5 hours earlier, they didn't know that they, they will be married to each other. So it's, it's a very strange scenario for them. So the first night when so the first night where uh, they discuss about their future opu starts explaining that he has nothing with him no job no money no proper house to stay uh, he does not have a family of his own so which was quite a shocker for the newlywed wife oporna quite surprisingly as in she was not shocked she was not uh, surprised and uh, she she gracefully said that okay whatever whatever happens I'll, I'll i'm with you i will take it so if i'm just narrating this story to you i will uh, definitely have placed the music when when oporna says that uh, i accept what you uh, give me but uh, here something else happens here what uh, happens is that uh, the other part of the sequence where Opu is trying to explain his his level of poverty his his uh, that he has nothing with him I have a particular music for that particular part that particular piece which is long enough which is quite long and when Oporna uh, says that I, I, I don't have any problem I, I'm fine with it there's no music and when Opu restarts this discussion saying that okay then I'm I'm quite happy I'm, I'm elated that you said this and you have music again so let's let's watch this sequence first and then we'll get into the further analysis of this sequence <laughs> Kitchen, 
তুমি যেভাবে মানুষ হয়েছ এত বড় বাড়ি চাকর বাকর এত সুন্দর ঘর তুমি বিশ্বাস করো এই বিয়েতে আমি রাজি হইনি আমার প্রচন্ড আপত্তি ছিল কিন্তু আমাকে এমনভাবে অনুরোধ করা হলো আমি ভাবলাম একটা মহৎ কিছু বুঝি করে ফেললাম গোলমাল হয়ে গেল তুমি কিছু বলছো না কেন তোমার মন না জানলে তো আমি কিছু স্থির করতে পারছি না আমি কিছু বুঝতে পারছি না তুমি দারিদ্র সহ্য করতে পারবে আমার মতো গরিব স্বামীর ঘর করতে পারবে সত্যি পারবে কেন পারবো না তাহলে কিন্তু তোমাকে সঙ্গে করে নিয়ে যাব তোমার বাবা হয়তো আপত্তি করবেন কিন্তু আমি শুনবো না তোমার আপত্তি নেই তো জানি না ওরা কি ভাববে কারা আমার প্রতিবেশীরা এলাম বিয়ের নেমন্তন্ন খেতে আর ফিরছি বউ নিয়ে As you saw that this particular sequence had music for Opu. Opu is our main character, so the music will definitely, definitely be with him. But uh, the part where Oporna says uh, this uh, dialogue, which is very positive in nature because, because uh, it helps my character, it helps my uh, uh, Opu. Who, who is my character because if the character is happy i am also happy and in that case this is a very it's a very positive uh, uh, place in the narrative and i do not have any music so this music and if you if you feel that you are you are getting a positive vibe and this is being created by the audience himself because there is no music say when i have two two black cards like this two black cards if i place it like this there is a white line that forms uh in between the two cards there is no white line the white line is there because i have placed the two black cards on 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 white paper so this is something like this the the white streak the 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 music that has formed has happened because of the two music pieces that were there in the in the beginning part and in the last part the middle part music is created by the audience's mind but i uh, want to say that music takes sides a particular design of music tries to emphasize on the feelings of a particular character in a film while Uh, they may leave other characters undefined or underdefined in the in the particular scene that uh, i'll be showing you uh, this uh, sequence is from the film called charulata uh, the most uh, uh, significant film made by ray and in this uh, sequence uh, let me tell you what happens uh, that charu a housewife had tremendous interest in literature and uh, charu and omol used to talk about poets talk about literature whenever they got time and in this process uh, omol uh, developed as a writer and he got his first writings published in a in a magazine 
which he was very proud of. And Charu was not uh, happy, apparently was not happy. And uh, she also wanted to prove that she can also write. So she remembered her childhood days and started writing and finally wrote whatever she could, which got published in one of the leading magazines of that time. And Charu finally got that paper, got that magazine in, uh, in her hand and rather hit Amol with, with that uh, paper saying that, look what I have done. So this is the scene and it continues as, as a romantic, uh, with, with a romantic music piece where Charu uh, brings the, the sh hand woven shoe that Charu has made for Amul, uh, gifts it to Amul and Amul is surprised. So this is more or less the scene that I'm talking about. Let's watch this scene and then we'll uh, talk about what I want to say about this music design. ঠাকুরপুর পানে অত চুন্দিস কেন ওর মুখ পুরে যায় এবার থেকে আমি সাজবো चलबे ना बोठा तुम्हें लिखते हैं आरो लिखते हैं तानुले तुम रहतो गुन हम ये लिखो हम ये लिखो
जमाटा फिटे ग Charu points the name and asks Amol to see. You don't need to, and this is kind of a revelation for for the character, which is Amol in this case. But I do not have any musical support. So the music is only helping Charu in this case. Music is not. trying to define anything about omol's uh, emotions this is very interesting because uh, it's not very clear if omol is happy omol is jealous omol is uh, uh, is is frustrated what if there was a music it will immediately define the emotion of omol but it was kept open it was kept open because there was no music and the music stays with charu okay so that was one thing and at the end when charu finally finally breaks down she starts crying she she hugs amol and uh, holds amol tightly and starts crying and accepts that this was this was kind of her mistake and she never wanted to write but he she had to because she wanted to get back omol the way he was from the beginning uh at this point suddenly the music stops and suddenly i had a partner i had a partner which is music in this case with charu and the partner was really giving confidence to my character if she is angry if she is uh, happy the music was always with her at this particular point the music leaves and i have silence i have nothing i do not have a partner charu is isolated and as charu is isolated charu suddenly comes back and and he she she realizes that what she is doing is not right she goes out of the room so what i mean to say is that music here plays a very very important role to be with a character support a character make the character confident and when not necessary or when necessary by the director leave the character isolate the character and the character is more helpless the character is looking helpless here and this helplessness was given by the music design A discussion to uh, as in uh, to a few topics only so my last topic today is the use of diegetic music as background score this is not very unique uh, as far as uh, films are concerned because sachit ray was not the only person who has done it but he did this wonderfully in the same film that i'm talking about charulata where i will be talking about a sequence which is also known as the the party sequence so let me just give you a background of this uh, sequence uh, we have bhupati who bhupati is charu's husband and the elder brother of omol uh, and bhupati arranges uh, a party for celebrating the victory of the liberals in the english elections and there is music and wine in this in the party as the scene develops bhupati talks about ram mohan roy and the and a singer presents a song written by ram mohan himself 
let us now talk about the selection of this song the song of ram mohan talks about the last day in a person's life when all will cry and you will not be able to say a word because you are dead so uh, and, the, and the song continues saying that so be cautious leave your pride behind and start devoting your life to the supreme power ramon had composed other songs which uh, would have been a better fit in this case but satyajit ray chose uh, this song of uh, and 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 uh, the obvious question is why why would uh, ray if you look at the tune of this song the the mood and the ambience that the song creates you will you will be able to understand that there is a purpose and the purpose is revealed just after uh, a few moments of course this is not to be treated like background music background music is different where where music plays from nowhere and this is diegetic music the music is actually being performed i can see the musicians i can see the context i can see uh, there was a reason for the song to be played out but as the scene progresses i i see uh, one of the characters going to uh, who who happens to be the the secretary or the assistant uh, of bhupati who gets into another room and steals uh, the entire cash the the important papers and he executes that act and the music in the background plays as a background score satyajit ray is not using a separate music for the sequence but uses the uh, the the song that is already playing in the background mone karo mone karo shesh ro she dino bhayam kar mone karo shesh ro she dino bhayam तो तुम रावे निरुतर ओने बा कबे के तो तुम रावे निरुतर भयंकर मने करो जा प्रति जत माया के बापुत्र के बाजाया जार प्रति जत माया के बापुत्र के बाजाया तार मुख चेत the as it was already discussed in in the in the beginning of the sequence that there will be another presentation of a toppa the toppa is a song which is usually based on romantic themes the and when that song starts in the party we have and it's still playing in the background because it's happening somewhere in the, on the ground floor and we are on the on the first floor of the house and we see amol and charu talking about talking about uh, leaving india or charu we can we can see charu not very pleased not very happy with the fact that uh, amol uh, will 
uh, leave India, we'll get married and we'll go to England to study, etc., etc. So, so the conversation has got a sense of, uh, sense of romance in it. Kiko. आगे बर्तमान, तार पर बी, तार पौर बिलेट, तार पर, तार पर ब्रिस्टल, तार पर पेरिस्टर, तार पर, तार पर बैक टू बेंगल, ब्लैक नेटिव, बब बब बोले, क्या मन so and here the the song in the background plays as a background score as plays as a background emotional uh, music the entire design the music design is being done with the party songs the the whatever is uh, is being sung at the party and they are exactly fitting into uh, the situations that that come one after the other so the mastery of the director lies here. He designs the scene in a way that music does not seem an additional layer over the dialogue track, but functions like a magician's wand and guides and glides the audience through the story. So this was uh, the discussion. And in future, if we get a chance to converse again, we will definitely do it and uh, i'll share other ideas other other methods of of using background scores and it's actually very interesting if when you're analyzing a film it becomes very very interesting to to uh, to figure out these things thank you very much for watching <laughs>